Christ. Welcome to the 13th of December and Tuesday of the third week of Advent. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Lucy, Virgin and Martyr of the 4th century. There are so many legends surrounding her story, but the bravery and courage of this young woman at defending her faith is what has endeared her to the hearts of many to do the will of the Father, to live in Him, and to spread His love through the earth is what brings joy to a true believer. In today's first reading, taken from the prophet Zephaniah, chapter 3, verses 1 to 2 and verses 9 to 13, the prophet brings a message of hope even as he pronounces woe on the city that is rebellious and defiled. The hope here is in that the coming of the day of the Lord will bring a positive change. Yes, at that time, I will change the speech of the peoples to a pure speech that all of them may call on the name of the Lord and serve him with one accord. This is a great vision of peace for Israel. God will remove everything that could put his people to shame and also remove the proudly exultant ones. Zephaniah sees the purpose of God being achieved with all gentleness and humility. Unfortunately, we still live in a world where constantly we seek to set ourselves free of God, in a world that is his own creation. Creation is seeking to set itself free from his creator. In the Gospel of today, taken from Matthew chapter 21, verses 28 to 32, Jesus uses the parable of the two sons to explain the importance of repentance. Jesus did not present the image of a perfect child that would have been a third son. In this story of the two sons, the father sent the first to go and work in the vineyard, but the son replied, I will not. He, however, later repented and went. The second son, however, told his father, I go, sir, but did not do so. Those who were listening to Jesus agreed that the first son, in spite of the fact that he had earlier said he will not go, still did the will of the father. For Jesus, this reflects the conversion of sinners the so-called tax collectors and sinners who are making their way into the kingdom. Unfortunately, there are others in the mold of the second son who promised to go but did not into this world. It is sad when Christians are the ones breaking all the commandments of God, worshipping other gods, telling lies, stealing, mismanaging public trust, putting other people's life at risk, enslaving others, endangering nature, and even giving the proceeds of crime to the church. When you renege on your baptismal promises to reject Satan and all his works and to believe in God through his teachings coming down to us from the church, you are not different from the second son. This is the season of repentance turn around from your evil ways and return to the will of God. Let us pray. O God, have mercy on us for the times we have fallen short of your glory. Help us to remain firm in our commitment to your will. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.